Welcome back folks for the first video of the new year. Now before we do the fun stuff like the leak videos on the IS-5, let's start off this new year with a high note and get this ancient old question out of the way. And this question is, does stats matter? Now if you play World of Tanks for a little bit, you probably have heard about XVM. XVM is a mod that tells you all the efficiency ratings of different players on your team as well as your enemy's team and the likely outcome of the battle like a win percent chance so you can make judgments on different players as well as the outcome of this battle and where you should be but whenever the word judge comes into play history has shown that events surrounding this word tends not to be that good so yeah you can see why people get upset about being judged on their stats based on their stats so yeah it's a tough issue now you have two spectrums of players playing this game on one spectrum you have people who really care about their stats and will go so far as to make a new account grind their way up back to a tier 10 and just seal club throughout the grind so they have a really high efficiency rating but really low number of battles played so you call these people rerollers, obviously. And on the other spectrums, you have the high number of battles played, but really low efficiency rating. People who generally go AFK in the middle of the battle or just AFK throughout the whole battle or just suicides. So that's where you get the tomato saying, the tomato team, because their stats are in red. So that's what tomato refers to. And generally people who play this game mostly fall into the middle section they play this game for fun um, they improve after each game or at least try to but stats doesn't really matter to them and I kind of fall into this middle category all right you also get a category with like 0.001 percent people who are women looking for men but get me into that category all right focus Sam focus so basically, does stats matter? Now, I play about 20,000 games already with World of Tanks. And I started playing a year and a half ago. And I generally try to improve after each game and try to analyze like what's the weakness with each tank and what's the strength are. So you try to hide your weaknesses while showing your strength, obviously. But stats-wise, I saw a lot of stats going in and out and I have lost games where it's like 90% chance to win and I have won games when it's like 10% chance to win so there are surprise miracles that happen and stats doesn't always tell the whole story but if I look at all the battles I played stats generally does tell a good picture of the likely outcome of the battle if you use your common sense. Now, does it really matter on a big picture? I don't think it really matters on a, that big of a picture. Just remember that World of Tanks is a game, all right? None of us are eSport or Major League Gaming candidates of whatever, all right? I play this game by myself with my life I don't play it for money. Hopefully I'm not. I'm not that good too, at least. All right, I don't have, Jesus, I, I make myself sound like I play this game for fun. Well, for profit. <laughs> I play this game for fun, all right? I don't play this game professionally. It's not profession, all right? So whatever. There are some people who do, but most play players who play this game are not, all right? We all are not. We play this game for fun because we like tanks. And look to see stuff blow up. Pretty much that's it. So basically, if you have that kind of mindset, stats doesn't really matter. All right? Stats matter if you want to improve on your gameplay. Understand that stats are more like a measurement of how well you're doing and where you should improve on. All right? If you really care about your stats, hardcore, so far as to make a new account, well, Viagra does need people to buy their products, obviously, so I can't help that, all right? 
But just remember that stats matters if you want to improve. That's pretty much it. Improve yourself. Don't judge other players and speak badly about them. I've done that in the past. But in the end, just worry about your own stats. That's pretty much it. That's all you have to do with XVM. Don't care about the win percent chance per battle. Don't care about how other tomatoes are doing. Doesn't matter. Just enjoy this game. That's all I have to say. All right, I already mentioned how stats doesn't really matter. But I have two websites to help you improve on your gameplay based on your stats. So basically, the first website is the efficiency rating calculator, whatever you call it. And you get your standard stats with it. But what is important is that it gives you suggested tanks based on your stats. So as you can see, it recommends me playing these tanks because I do pretty well in. So I know how to play the T25T, AT, whatever, the Centurion. So you can get a good perspective on which tanks are doing fairly well in. So you can understand what you're doing good with that tank as opposed to tanks are need more work, so to speak. So I need more work on the Hetzer. I don't have it. I need more work on the Waffen Trigger E100. So <laughs> that's kind of bad. So you can see which tanks are doing well, which tanks are not. So that's a general assessment of your tanks. That's pretty good too. Oh man, I'm not doing that well in the KV-2. Oh no. The T-29? Oh man, that sucks. So yeah, I get a fairly good perspective on your tanks and your list. All right, the second website is the Noob Meter. And it's pretty interesting because it gives you a mathematical data spreadsheet, which I like, so. All right, and it's based on your most recent gameplay, so that's pretty cool. But you can see the performance of your efficiency rating as you progress per matches. So these are matches right here, number of battles fought, and your efficiency rating. So you can see a decent upward slope, so that's nice. Um, I have a clip. This is the first World of Tanks video I played. So you can see from this clip that my efficiency rating was about 1,200 at 8,000 battles. So if you go all the way back to 8,000 battles, somewhere around here. So you can see that it's went up a few times over the course of a year. So you can judge how well you're playing versus which tanks you should play. So all right. So you can see the win rate change, other stuff, average experience earned. That's pretty nice. So basically, a year ago, when I was playing my Type T34, I was averaging about 400 XP per battle, and a year later, I was averaging about 600. So, 50% improvement. Really nice. All right, but these two websites should help you with your improvement on the game. But if you're just starting out, here's a few tips. So basically, if you're playing light tanks, try to scout as much as possible because light tanks are designed to scout, not damage. You could damage people, all right? Your gun is okay based on whichever tanks you are playing. But remember, light tanks are not the main damage source, so don't go yellow. Medium tanks are designed to flank, so don't frontally fight heavy tanks. You're not supposed to. So shoot somebody once then run away that's what medium tanks do that's what light tanks do but medium tanks do this better because of their guns all right heavy tanks find a corner find all the corner always take corners always take cover because heavy tanks have no camera rating so stick to towns or rocks or giant boulders that's when you should play heavy tanks that's where the heavy tanks are likely to go tank destroyers Camp in a bush, a little bit farther away from your team, but that not that much farther away. So you can support, but you can also flank attack. So that's pretty much tank destroyers. And load for bear, pretty much, when you're playing tank destroyer. But tank destroyer have big guns, so not to worry. Artillery, trying to hide in the most opportune spot that enemies will not find you, obviously. So hide 
in the nook behind buildings or something like that. So don't be out in the open and shooting, pretty much it. So use common sense, use your brain. Simple, play this game, learn from each battle, all right? If you see some tomato, suicide scouting, all right? Learn from what he sees in the initial first few seconds of the battle. So you can see the patterns of where enemies will likely go and how tanks will spread out. So use your brain. Now, you can also improve your game. Improve your minimap usage if you play a lot of first person shooters. So basically, before I play World of Tanks, I play a lot of Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty. And with that game, you if you play that game well, all right, you can learn to decide which way enemies will look at. That's how awesome if you play the game, all right? So basically, if you see a bunch of players shooting at each other in the middle of a screen, you can likely decide that they'll likely point their guns towards each other and not focus on you when you're trying to flank around. So mini-map awareness as well as um, troop spreading positions, that also could be learned from other first-person shooters like Call of Duty or any other tactical shooters like Ghost Recon or something like that. So that also helps you improve your game. But as for stats-wise, try to use your stats to help you learn each tank's roles. So basically, if you're not doing pretty well in heavy tanks, go to the wiki. I mean, the wiki is right there. So, Water Tanks Wiki. Just search up Water Tanks Wiki and look up that tank. I think I can find it. There it is. So you can just go to the wiki, look up the tank, see the weakness of this tank, or watch some review. I have a bunch of tank reviews and stuff like that. But the wiki helps also. So you can understand the armor values, the uh, the goodness, the good parts of being a tank or the bad parts of a tank, pretty nice. So here's a quick example. So if you're playing the ma <laughs> mammoth, oh man. So let's look at a T-34, simple American premium heavy tank. You can have a bunch of pros and a bunch of cons. So good penetration, 250. I know that from the top. Good accuracy, 0 0.35 and high alpha, 400. So pretty nice pros and you can understand the cons the bad view range 360 meters i think yeah i know this tank well so you can see the different bad parts of your tank and the good parts of your tank so use that to your advantage if you see that you're not playing that well with that tank all right before we finish off with this video understand that not all players who play this game are between the ages of 20 to 40 let's say all right, there are kids who play this game. And here is an old article on For The Record. It talks about this player called Canty. He's a Finnish player. And he has a son who is seven years old and is also playing this game. Or five and a half, whatever. So it's a family friendly game. It's a tank. It doesn't have blood. It doesn't have gore. So kids can play this game. So don't go typing curses and racial slurs and all the other crap all right be nice about it so don't go screaming at other people wishing they have cancer or stuff like that don't do that that's not cool i don't do that i've never done that before only only say dumb stupid tomato before i've done that all right i never went out to racially slur that's not cool no bueno all right if you get really pissed off really really pissed off Scream at the screen, all right? Say, stupid, dumb tomatoes, and click the back to garage button, all right? That's all you have to do. Typing that they're cancerous, whatever, tomatoes, that does not help the team. That does not help your image. I learned from my past. I stopped doing that like a year ago, or at least half a year ago. So don't do that. It does not help anybody. It does not help you let off some steam. If you want to leave off some steam, scream at the screen, stupid dumb tomato, go back to garage, play some T18. Life is perfect, all right? Just remember, there are kids who play this game. And you understand that boys love cars. Boys love tanks. Boys love military. Hell, I even played with Barbie when I was a little boy. So I done random shits, all right? <laughs> And 
I never had tanks when I was little. I had mud. I played with mud that made into tiger tanks. That's how poor I was, or that's how my family was poor. But whatever. So understand that boys will play this game. Some girls too. Whatever. So don't go cussing. All right. Don't go square swearing at little kids, man. That's not cool. Now, his son has only 284 win eight, so that's not that high. All right. It's tomato status, but. The kid is playing this game for fun. Let him play. He's not playing your tanks. He's not playing your account. Leave the kid be. So don't go judging other people. All right. You do not know who's behind the screen. Don't go judging other people. Now I will judge on somebody who's like fifty thousand games played, one hundred efficiency rating, and they do not move the entire battle. So I hate AFKers. That's all I hate. I don't care about tomatoes. I just hate AFKers. Even if it's a good player with like 2,000 efficiency rating, I hate AFK players. That's all it is. Even if you have to pee or something like that, and something came up and you have to help your mom with something, I don't know. I hate AFK players. And whenever I, I see an AFK player, I will scream the shit out of that person. But don't scream the shit out of random tomatoes. All right? There might be a little kid. He's playing for fun, whatever. He's a little kid. Let him play. All right. He's not playing your account. He's not messing you up. Hopefully, unless he shoots you, and if he turns blue, you can shoot him back. So justice. But leave the kid be. All right. So don't judge. That's all I'm trying to say. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And just remember, in the end, stats doesn't matter unless you want to improve yourself. So basically, only your stats matter. Other player stats doesn't matter. All right, unless you want to be competitive douchebaggy. So don't be competitive douchebaggy. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys like watching this video. Fun stuff tomorrow. No more of these stupid questions with does stats matter? None of that bull crap. So fun stuff like leak videos on the IS5. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Leak videos on the AMX CDC. That's always be fun. AMX uh, 1357, Ooh, Sherman improved, uh, what's the other one? The new Scorpion looks amazing, and the T54 prototype, so lots of fun leak videos coming soon, but remember from this video, start this new year off great, stop cussing at random tomatoes, alright? There are tomatoes, it's fine, you can be your vegetable of some other color, just leave the little kids alone. All right, just go after AFK people. I hate those guys because they're AFK. They're assholes. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more water tank stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And here's a quick shout out to Elite Batman with double X's and his startup clan, Jaws. So he saw me with my 110 and I was playing crappy. And he killed me with a T-34 I think so <laughs> alright but don't be afraid to shoot at me if you see me in a game and uh, if you turn blue and if you're on my team uh, expect swift vengeance so alright